Okay, so what we're going to need today is, you want a little bit lighter dumbbell, um, you've got to be able to do bicep curls with it and shoulder press. So if I normally use 20s, I will have a 15. Uh, you also have to do two arm tricep and kickbacks, which those are hard to do two, uh, when it's two at a time. Um, I would say that's about uh, the most of what you need. We don't need any bands today. Uh, let me see if we're going to be on the ground at all. No. No. All right, we got three sets of eight. We're going to start warming up now. Three sets of eight. You need to start warming up. So let's get a tap fighter dumbbell, and that's all that's needed. And then just start uh, getting warmed up. Get warmed up. And I am going to message. What's going on here? Yes, we're getting new menus this weekend. This weekend. This weekend. I uh, want another 90 seconds. Another 90 seconds. Three sets of eight happening today. No biggie, right, Meg? No biggie. Three sets of eight. Uh, way different than when going for seven sets of seven the other day. All right, so we got sumo squats today, plank jack, bicep curl, goblet squat, shoulder press, speed skater, triceps, more squats, jump rope, swings, and wide arm push up. So it looks like a, a complete mix. Buck triceps, a lot of butt, butt and thighs. Yeah, let's finish up 10 more seconds. Finish up 10 more seconds. Team. Right, we start with sumo squats, so you're going to get one dumbbell. And I need to adjust my music a little bit louder. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm Narrow squat. 
Keep your dumbbell. Keep your feet close together. Okay. Flex the dumbbell tight down. And don't go all the way. Come up. Just barely straighten your knees out. Okay. Yeah. Large in place if you cannot walk with your knees. Good. Woo. Jump rope. Imitation jump rope. Or you can do your footwork like this. Good. One dumbbell swing between your legs. Good. Wide arm push up. Wide arm. We're going to go the whole width of our step. Whole width of our step. Whole width of our step. All the way down. Touch the chest. Oh, 
All right, get your stretching band out. Roll for stretching band, grab that. Only a pad for your knees, too. Okay. I'm going to take my shoes off. Feet need to be as light as possible for the crow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Strike bracelets do not feel good <laughs> on your ass when you do ass. So make a note of that. That's not the time or place. That was like. You got like spike tattoos now back there. Okay, so we're gonna work on uh, doing the one-legged uh, crow. So this is the one where you uh, bend your elbows down a little bit. So both legs up, we'll put one foot up and keep the other one down. If you can try both and do both. Once you do that, set that one down and immediately pick the other one up. What you're trying to do is get accustomed to being able to put your uh, bend your elbows in a way. Your tricep will hold your knees and be able to pull one side up until both of those sides will come up. I'm going to go into the garland right after that. Now open up your legs with your elbows. Square in front of the chest. Sink your butt all the way down. Hands are going to go down, straighten up your legs, totally straight, spread them out as wide as your mat. Take your hands, put them behind your heels. Walk your hands in the front, and then inch your feet together. Put your left foot more in the center, and then body weight on your hands. Take your right leg up in the air, and then bend it down. First, point it up there, and then bend it down towards the butt. Bring that leg in, put it in the center, replace it, the other one. One up and then bend it down. Bring that down, both of them side by side. Walk your hands back on the outsides of your ankles. Bend your knees, come up halfway, walk your elbows and swing. And lock your knees, come down further. Still hold your elbow. Okay, roll up. Left foot forward, right foot, is, right foot is back. Do a prayer behind your back and then lean forward all the way to your chest is on your front leg. Straighten out both feet once you're down there. Bend your front leg, lunge your front leg, come up. Keep your prayer. Switch. Good foot. Read over, try to bring your chest all the way down to your thigh, straighten both knees and straighten out both feet. Bend your front leg, hold it up, 
We both speak together. Shake out your arm. Okay, we're gonna go. Uh, and I can't go back far enough here on the tree pose. Hold on. Okay, so let's work on the tree. Put your toes on the floor to get balanced first. Put your toes and then move it up. To your calf. Then uh, palm up on the short leg. And this one is just going over. Bring that down, shake it out. Also loosen up both ankles. <laughs> both ankles. <laughs> loose, loose, loose. Okay. All right, so beginning. So get your hips square. You get a balance from your hips, not your feet. Then your elbows are out. This is trying to gain some balance again. And then palm up. Take it out. Next move, if you got to lean up against something, you can lean up against something, or you can be straight out ahead. <clears throat> but just set your hip against something, against the wall, doesn't matter. Try to hold this straight out. Bring it in. On your leg. Both hands on your foot. Again, set your butt against something or your hip, just to get balance. Good. Ankles again. Ankles and feet again. Can't do it enough. Taking a lot of pressure. Feet. Other side. Bring it in. Both hands on the foot. Good. Loosen up the ankles again. Want to do the move coming out to the side and the other arm up. Again, I learned all this by putting my hand on the wall. I just did it by putting my hand on the wall. So, quit acting like this is a big deal. It's not a big deal. Put your hand on the wall. Uh, Todd must be really excited. He's always excited. I even said, bring the bass down. <laughs> He's always excited. That never changes. <laughs> Put your hand on the wall. I even have an imaginary wall. <laughs> Pretend like I'm touching it. Ooh, okay, let's get just more standing ones. Okay, let's do a dancer. Dancer. So we're going to start dancer really easy. Okay. And then get your opposite hand out. Okay, then if you can balance, that's when you can pull your foot away from your butt. Away from your butt. Again, touch a wall. Uh, is the way to get it going. Touch a wall. Ankles. Ankles. We left a disaster back there for you. Just for you. Only for you. Because you're so special. <laughs> she's trying to ignore me. Thinking I don't know she's trying to ignore me. She said thank you. 
other side. I love that Under Armour shirt. Really cute. She is coming to town on you today. <laughs> With the pink? Yeah. She's like, I'm coming to town. <laughs> Don't you love I'm like, shoes? how much more? And I love your shirt. Thank I'm you. Like, yes, that's so good. All right. We got Dancer on the other side. <clears throat> Imaginary wall if you don't have one. I swear it works. It'll be a mine. Ooh, okay. What else we got from standing, huh? Uh, oh, I know. This one. Never do this. This is just so great. Everybody does this one. All right. Palms up. Arm up. Good. Turn the feet. Make your breaks. Palm up. Make sure they line up nice and straight. Right on top of each other. Good. Grab uh, your band. Let's grab the band. Hold it back behind you. Uh, spread your feet out and uh, loop your band a couple times around your hands till it curls your shoulder blades together. And then come up all the way up. Shoulder blades curled all the way together. Keep your legs stiff. Good. Nice. All right. And then let's get some uh, pec stretch. We're about done here. Both on the And then hands on your thighs, head, front, back, side to side. Well, I'd say probably 10 of them. <sighs> Couple more. Good, nice job. 